Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of our Unreal 3D tutorial series. Last video I showed you how to do this. And continuing that progression, I'm going to show you how to add a car to this road. Because having just a moving road isn't that fun to play. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on input systems. Now so in an input system is going to allow you to, on an event triggered such as a button pressed, we're going to move the vehicle from side to side and we're going to add a bunch of different input systems for a bunch of different devices and compatibility but for this tutorial I'm going to focus mainly on keyboard because that's what I'm working on right now the first thing to do is to import our vehicle so with the file downloaded or already modeled you're going to import it either by FBX, OBJ or probably by appending it I'm actually going to import an FBX file that I downloaded from the internet and once you have that downloaded you will notice that it probably isn't at scale so you're going to have to scale it up and modify it to adjust to, to uh, the scene around it which is going to be obviously your road and once you have that done it's going to uh, well it's not going to be attached to the wheels in my case so we're going to have to shift select the base of the car and we can control P these buggers together so now that when we when we move the base of the car the tires actually come with it so select the tire shift select the base and control P them together okay now that that's done all the tires are together we want to add a script to the actual car so with the base selected the base of the car we're going to add a new node tree it's a node trait and the node tree is going to be called player move because why not and in that player move script that we can find over here in the scripting tab make sure you have logic node tree enabled um, selected and we're going to add an event an input event which is going to be our keyboard and so once uh, our keyboard button has been detected it's going to do something so what we want it to do is when A is pressed it's going to translate the object which means move it's going to move the object and the object in question is already it already knows what object it is without putting it in because it's the object that the script is applied to which is the base of the car and so you don't need to fill that in and since we're on a pretty small base here let me just remove this window we are on basically a 2 by 2 scale so it's going to be very small so what we want to do is we want to set 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.02 maybe yeah that's going to be small enough I think on the negative x axis so when we press A it's going to move this side on the negative A negative uh, negative x I mean negative 0 0.02 and now we can just duplicate this set it to D and all we need to do is set it on the positive axis so just delete the minus and there we go now if we play our game you should be able to use the A and D key to move the player there we go A and D moves the player it looks great it looks awesome actually and uh, the only trouble thing is that the tires have no texture so I'm gonna fix that real quick okay now the tires have textures the only thing that they don't have is movement they don't move and we want them to move we want to continue the illusion of movement so what we're going to do is in the first place we're going to add an on update first of all once we have the on update node as you can see we can do something with it and that something is transform we're going to look for the rotational node I'm just gonna search it rotate object okay and the object in question, this time we're going to have to select it because I couldn't be bothered to make a node tree for every single object. We're going to just select each tire and we're going to set it to something like mm, 200 maybe. Now we can just shift D and duplicate this a bunch of times for each tire. There, now we've selected all the tires and told them what to do. What I'm going to do now is one last method is I'm going to duplicate the keyboards 
and I'm going to set it as the arrows so they have the same actions but by using the arrow keys because a lot of people like to use the arrow keys and it's nice to be thoughtful so on left arrow key and on right arrow key it's going to have the same movement and the same uh, usage as the um, A and D keys so yeah once that loaded we, we, wanna, we can test it out using the arrow keys first of all this is the right arrow key the left arrow key the A key, uh, the D key I mean and the A key and as you can see the tires are moving bloody fast <laughs> they're moving very fast and uh, it gives the illusion of movement so that is great that's exactly what we wanted actually so once we've done that we have pretty much finished the episode thank you very much for watching and uh, well if you want to find this blend file or you want to find the model you can find them in the link in the description below if you want to find the list to all the other tutorials in this tutorial series I've left the playlist link below that you can find all the previous tutorials if you're watching this in the future and uh, if you are not then you should definitely subscribe to not miss any of the next updates and tutorials I put out thank you very much for watching and have a great day